Hey everybody, Nathan60 here with another tutorial on the 3D printing project. Let's dive right in. Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to be talking about Autodesk Tinkercad, which is a free website that you can use that you, you can create your own 3D models. So first, go to tinkercad.com, then then you'll show up on this screen. And you can sign in if you already have an account. If you don't, just click join now. And then you uh create your personal account. And then it'll let you make account. And then you sign in. So I'm uh, just going to go ahead and sign in right here. After I sign in. It will show up on the, your dashboard. Have your recent designs. Um, yeah, I have quite a few. And you have circuits, cobots, lessons. These are all different things. You can teach. Um, you can turn to teacher. You can join a class. You can. There's blogs where people post stuff, gallery where there's just a bunch of impressive models, and if you want to create a new design, just press create new design. I'm going to show you all the tools here in Tinkercad. So, um, here are basically all the basic shapes. Um, obviously, um, box, cylinder, sphere, these are all pretty regular. Um, the text is one of the unique ones. You can change what it says. I can change it to yes. Just like that. I can change it to whatever word I want. And also there's a scribble. Where you can draw what shape you want. For example, I want this weird... This weird... Dizzy thing. I can just draw that. It'll show up like this. And then I could just press done. Just like that. So you can use this just to fill in extra graphs. And it works for now. Then there's text and numbers. So text and every single letter and number in here. Um, connectors. Um, these are for, uh, yeah, more like mechanical things where you can, they can uh, move around. Hand, piece ham. These are just a bunch of random um, things. Uh, there's shape generators, which you can look at. Uh, there's the United States. You can go to whichever state you want. For example, you can go to California. I will show California. And there's all of these, whichever one you want to want. These are all. Um, they, they can all be generated. They're like, yeah, more complex things. And there's obviously other things like dinosaur bones, skeletons, assemblies. And there's a ruler you can use. You can use a ruler to make straight shapes. You can turn it to. Um, right here is your angle. Whatever angle you want to use, you can back out. And then if you, for example, I have a box, I can copy it or I can duplicate it. And after I copy it, I can paste it. Then there's two of them. Or I can just press duplicate and there's also two of them. Oh, I said duplicate. There's also two of them. There you go. Then you can, if you highlight two shapes at once you can group them together mm -hmm. and now they're one single unit you can ungroup it if you want to and you can make them align correctly yeah you can just make them like aligned on one side and corners yeah and these are um, this delete, undo, redo, this, uh, 
point of view. This is more 3D-ish. This is also 3D, but everything is the same thing. It's not, I don't really like it. And you can turn it into Legos. You can turn it into Legos. Fun fact. Or you can turn it into Minecraft style. Yeah. And that's basically um, Tinkercad, all the tools from Tinkercad. Can make this grid bigger, like each square. These are, and like so many tools you can use, and can also import things from other places. For example, if you found a bear online. Um, you can just like import the bear into here and add something onto it, and then you can just export it and print it. So Tinkercad is a really easy to use free tool. So, if you don't plan on spending any money on a uh, CAD, then just Tinkercad is the best choice. Okay, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.